I was wondering if you could tell me what themes and um, what um, things you like to invest in that attract you. Yeah. So we are interested in a broad range of um, market areas. We, we're, not, we're less driven by, gee, we think uh, social networking is the place to invest, or we, we're less market oriented, but much more interested in finding really innovative technologies that are differentiated regardless of the market. Obviously, it has to be an interesting high growth market, or one mar a market that we believe will grow in the future, but we, what we really want to find is some, some really innovative, new, disruptive idea within a different market. So just as an example, you know, um, you know years ago, uh, my partner um, invested in 2002 in a solar photovoltaic, like photovoltaic solar company, right. Mia Sole, which was, you know, before clean tech was even a word. Wow. So the idea was this was a really innovative new way of developing solar technology, um, and we believe the market would eventually get there, and in the meantime, the market exploded. So, um, so I think what we're really looking for is sort of that really next big thing, and it could fall in the area of um, the internet, uh, cloud computing, enterprise software, um, clean tech, material science, so a broad range of areas. Okay, so disruption is sort of the key word absolutely, for you guys. <laughs> absolutely. And obviously we look for great entrepreneurs. Okay. Um, so folks that have obviously brilliant ideas, vision, deep expertise, I think, and understanding of the area that they're focused on. So uh, we don't require someone who has a track record that has had multiple wins before. You know, part of what the value that we add is to help people kind of get to that stage and help mentor through that whole process, even if you, if, even if you haven't been through it before. Brilliant. So you work with the entrepreneurs. Absolutely. That's fantastic. Absolutely. And what would an entrepreneur need to bring to the table for you personally to get really excited about their business or their startup? Yeah. Well, obviously, you know, big passion about what they're doing um, and really something that's differentiated from what's out there. Okay. Um, and, you know, some some experienced street, street smarts. Um, you know, we... We'll look at basically any kind of entrepreneurship, any shape, color, size, you know, we don't kind of focus on the just the young, you know, Web 2.0 type. The stereotype. Exactly. Yeah. Um, the college student, sure, we'll look at those, but we also like, you know, the, the more mature entrepreneurs that are spinning out from, you know, companies where they have some very deep expertise and the ability to kind of take something and, and, and the experience um, in a particular domain. It's great that you don't limit yourselves and the entrepreneurs. No, no, I know. That, you know, other pieces have said, hey, you know, we kind of like these Stanford yes. graduate students coming yeah. out of yeah. degrees, working all, and that's great. Yeah, you know, we like those too. Yeah. but we're also open to other. Brilliant, yeah. brilliant. Perfect. And would you have any advice for an entrepreneur um, as regards a pitch? Is there something that particularly grabs you, or that you like mm -hmm. an entrepreneur to how they present in yeah. a pitch? Yeah. Well, you know, I think, for me, I think really what you want to hit somebody with is the real value proposition of what they're doing okay. um, right off the bat. And then you can kind of fill in the story around that. Um, so I always love demos, too. Something where it's very, this, you can see or you can mm. feel what it is that they're doing that's, that's different. So I think if there's a way to communicate that up front. You know, and then then you've got the sort of the, the obligatory you know market size slides and all the other stuff yeah. that you have to do. But I think you, if you really want to hook someone, you've got to come in there strong. You know, with you know wh what's the uh, the wow statement, if you will. That's what we call it here. Okay, okay. <laughs> and, and I guess having the demo helps to build the excitement for you as an investor because you you've got yeah. something very tangible. Yeah. And, Absolutely. You don't have to think too much about Absolutely. what they're trying to pitch. Exactly. Okay. I think it's it's a much uh, it's a much crisper way of just presenting something and more engaging, I think, yes. for, yeah. for brilliant investors. Yeah. Thank you so much for sure. your time today, Joyce. Thank you. Wonderful Thank you. to hear your feedback.